chapter 8, lesson 3 is about improper fractions and mixed numbers. So here, what we will be doing is changing improper fractions to mixed numbers and mixed numbers into uh, improper fractions. Now, again, there's many different ways of teaching. Uh, so I'll most likely, in some cases, I'll be offering two different ways of teaching the way that the book teaches and the way that will help the kids. At the end of the day, we have to remember that it's what the kids are comfortable with that will, we will try to push. Okay, so which means um, here, uh, the first set of problems that we will be looking at will be on page 15. Okay, so on page 15, problem number one. It says, convert 12 over five into a mixed number. Okay, so 12 over five. Okay, so the book, has steps where it leads the kids to the answer. Okay, so what the book does is it counts by fives until it reaches 12 without going over. So if I demonstrate, that would be 5, 10. So that means this will be 10 over 5, and we need to add 2 over 5. Okay, so which means this 10 over 5 is Two, and this is still two fifth, which means twelve over five is equal to two and two fifths. Okay, now uh, to me that's a little bit harder, I think. So I'm fairly sure, as adults, we all learned that the way to do this is to divide. So if we divide twelve divided by five. So what will happen is whatever the remainder is of this problem will end up to be the numerator of the fraction of the mixed number. And the denominator is our divisor. Okay, the quotient would be the whole number of the mixed number. So let me demonstrate. If we divide 12 by 5, that will be 2. So then we multiply, that will be 10. Then we subtract, that will be 2. So in grade 3, we would have written this as 2 remainder 2. But now, this is technically the same as 2 and 2. The remainder is the numerator. And the denominator will be the divisor. 2 and 2 fifths. So me personally, I prefer this as the method of learning. But if the kids are more comfortable this way, then we have to allow them to think the way that they want to, okay? So, um, but when I discuss future problems, I'll discuss this way. Okay, so in problem number three, it asks the same thing. So convert to improper fractions. Okay, the improper fraction, sorry, the improper fractions to mixed numbers. So that will be letter A, and I'll put here letter C. Okay, so if I look at this, this, the first thing that we want to do is make sure that the improper fraction is in simplified form before we divide. It just makes it a little bit easier because that means that the fraction is smaller. Okay, so in this case, this is already in simplified form. I will divide. So that will be 8 divided by 3. That's 2. Multiply, that 6. Subtract, that's 2. Which means we have a remainder of 2. So the whole number is the quotient, 2. And this will be 2 over the divisor is our denominator. So 2 and 2 thirds. Okay, similarly, if I look at this, first thing I will do is I'll simplify. So again, when we're simplifying, we're dividing. So that means I know I can divide this by 2. So if I divide by 2, that will be 11 and that will be 2. Now that my improper fraction is in simplified form, I'll go ahead and divide. So that means that will be 11 divided by 2 will be 5 
multiply, that will be 10. Subtract, that will give us 1, which means our remainder is 1, which means our mixed number would be 5 and 1 half. So take note, there's no such thing as mixed fraction. There's an improper fraction and there's a mixed number. Okay, so the improper fraction can be turned into a mixed number and a mixed number can be turned into an improper fraction as can be seen in the next set of exercises. Now, converting... Uh, mixed numbers into improper fractions also has two ways the way that the book does it and the way that michelle will do it so um, i'm going to start with page 17 problem number two it says to convert the following mixed numbers to improper fractions so okay so i'm sure when you were younger, you also learned it this way. So the way that we will do it is we multiply 5 times 3 and then we add the 1. So I'm going to put it here on the side. 5 times 3 and then we add the 1. So that means 5 times 3 is 15 and then we add the 1 which makes it 16 over 5. So this is the improper fraction for that mixed number. So doing the same thing for letter C, I'm going to put here the on the side the working. So that will be 7 times 1 plus 2. So 7 times 1 is 7. Then add a 2, that will make it 9 over 7. Okay, now to show how the book will do it, the book will split it as 3 and 1 fifth. So it'll make it two sets of fractions. So this is one and this is five. So it'll make this as five, which means the five times the three is 15. And then 15 plus one is 16 over five. So as you can see, it's the same answer. It's just written in more steps. So again, if we want to help our kids, we have to be able to adjust to what they are comfortable with. So either way, the final answer will be the same. But for the long run, Michelle's approach is usually the easier method. That concludes lesson three of chapter eight. See you in the